More than 800 people marched through downtown Salt Lake City to Temple Square. No more closed doors! No more closed doors! Calling on the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to end the practice of Bishop's worthiness interviews. My son is dead! The Catholic Church will not address this! Organizers hand-delivered a 55,000 signature petition. Hi! Thank you. Thank you. Asking the church to end one-on-one -on -one interviews that LDS bishops have with youth where personal questions about sexuality have been asked and some claim they've been abused. I'm story number Apostle story number 14. Mm -hmm. Thou Christensen happens to have one of the I stories like recorded. One Taking a child behind a closed door grooms them for pedophiles. The church says that it has made changes so that there are safeguards against abuse. But demonstrators here say that it's not enough. They want the practice of worthiness interviews ended entirely. You cannot take baby steps. It's time, people. It's time. The greatest test of everybody's faith is religion. And this religion has not been faith promoting. It has not been kind. And this subject is not going away. In a statement, the LDS Church says it shares concerns for the safety of youth, the church says local leaders are given clear instructions on youth interviews. I wish they would face us. So many people are hurting. Some demonstrators who are victims of abuse wanted to meet personally with LDS general authorities. They could only give church representatives books with hundreds of personal stories. Let the millstone not be hung around your neck. Don't let what happened to me happen to children for generations to come. It's in your hands. Thank you. Thank you. Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.